Let's begin from the top business headline now. The World Bank says inflation in food prices remains high globally. It made the declaration in its latest food security update report issued on Wednesday. Information from the latest month uh, between December uh, 2022 and March 2023 uh, for which food price inflation data available shows that high inflation is almost all uh, all low and middle income countries. Inflation levels are greater than 5% in 70.6% of lower income countries and in 90.9% of lower middle income countries. Now, the countries affected most are in Africa, North America, Latin America, South Asia, Europe, and Central Asia, according to the World Bank. And away from there now, gas demand in Nigeria will increase by 50% in the next 30 years, according to the Nigerian Liquefied Natural Gas Limited. The managing director of NLNG Limited, Philips Michel Bila, while delivering his address at the 13th edition of the Nigerian Gas Association International Conference in Abuja, said the country's gas demand was growing in tandem with its population. It no news that Nigeria has a gas reserves of 209 trillion uh, cubic feet, but that will not pull Nigerians out of poverty if we do not do everything we can to bring it out of the ground and get it across to consumers and then use it to industrialization and of our economy. According to him, Nigeria's consumption of LPG has increased by over 2,500 from 60,000 metric tons in 2007 to over 1.3 million metric tons in 2021. And now the Nigerian government has revealed that the May 29th date for the launch of Nigerian Air Steel stands as it awaits final approval by the International Civil Aviation Organization. This was disclosed in a press briefing by the Minister of Aviation Hadi Serka at the State House in Abuja on Wednesday. This statement read that workers of Nigeria Air and Infrastructure have already been set in motion for the proposed May 29th launch, Bashib said. Recall the airline operators of Nigeria and five other plaintiffs sued the Nigeria Civil Evasion Authority over the alleged plan to issue air operator certificates to Nigeria Air despite the impending court case of the Federal High Court sitting in Lagos. Over the matter. And our Central Bank of Nigeria yesterday took its e Naira policy campaign to University of Nigeria in Suka, saying ubiquity of electronic form of communication remains the best form of monetary transaction in Nigeria. Assistant Director Chika Ugwezi made this submission when they visited the Vice Chancellor Arenze Igwe to inform him and a management of a two-day sensitization program on the policy. According to him, with the ubiquity of electronic form of communication in Nigeria, the development in the currency has reached a digital platform. There you have it. So let's uh, take a break now. When we return, of course, Charles Fakruha, Ibrahim TV analyst, joins us to make sense of these stories. Stay with us.